Okay, question number nine. And it says that um, w, x, and y are three positive whole numbers. So we know that integers are whole numbers, and we know they've got to be above zero. It says w is one fifth of y. So w is small, w times five will get to y, and x is one sixth of y. So x times six is equal to y. And y is less than 100. What values could y take? Well, if we make it, if it's as it's one fifth, y must we must be able to divide y by five. So, okay. So if we make a list of the fives, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I don't know how I need, how far I need to go. Actually, I do, but that, and when I answer this question in the exam, I don't. So I'm just going to make a list that goes up to. 55 for the moment. It seems a bit longer than necessary. I also know that y can be divided by 6, so I know it's in the 6 times table. It's not only in the 5 times table, it's in the 6 times table. So we need to write the 6 times table down. And then, actually, you should probably should have spotted something already. And uh, 48, 54, 60, and it carries on. And you should spot that if y can be divided by 5, and by 6 at the same time, it's going to be in both lists. So that is obviously a value that it could take. It could take a value of 30. So y could be 30. But that's not the only number in our list that it could be. Because if we see this one's gone to 60. If we carried this one on further, this one had gone to 60 as well. So it could be another number, and it could be... 60 as well. And by the same process, it could also be 90. So there's actually three different answers this could take. It could take 30 or 60 or 90. That's because why you've got to divide it by, this is our W list. Well, not really, but we've got to divide it by, we've got to divide Y by 5. So it's got to be in the 5 times table. Y is also got to be in the 6 times table. And we need to find the numbers that, that is both of them, because you've got to be able to divide by 5 and 6 and still get a whole number. And we see that 30 appears in the list, and then 60 and 90 and so on. A little bit weird, this question, but if you've cracked it, it's quite easy, and it's worth 5 marks if you crack it. But sometimes it's a bit hard to see where, how to crack it.